Welcome back everyone! This is Reaper Elite, playing the 7th level of the first episode of Heretic. Oh, there was a secret level which... Never mind, it's... Weird level labeling convention. Because the secret levels in every episode are labeled as level 9. Anyway, this is kind of an annoying level. As you can see there is windage here. Not windage, but current. Also works as windage. Which is one of those little annoying things in this game. I guess it's one of the limitations of the early engines. Shoot all these golems. Yeah, nice job shooting that flaming skull. You know, you'd think with they're homing, they would actually be better at it. And now they're beating each other. Nice job, really. Nice fucking job. I mean, it's saving me the trouble of killing him, which is always nice. And just spam them some more. I could just go in there later on and kill them all, but this is easier. And uses ammo that I don't need. Well, it's not that I don't need it, but there's so much open wand ammo on every level that you can't afford to spam it. I mean, really spam it. And it's, this is heretic, but there are a lot of enemies on every level. Now we get some ammo. I mean, I have full crossbow ammo, I have not all that much dragon claw ammo, which kind of sucks. Ah yes, and the windage means their fireballs actually can't hit me at this range. They literally... oh, they almost can. They literally get blown back so much that they lose their forward momentum. Yeah, see there, getting blown back. Idiots. Anyway, crossbow time. What's up, guys? Guy. Oh, he actually tanked a decent amount of damage there. I'm gonna try some science. Oh, I can't. Almost did. Yeah, the side bolts, which are affected by windage, actually do slow down to the point of practically stopping. Science. Yeah, these guys are walking around, which is annoying since tricky to track them down and shoot them all. And these things are affected by windage too. More of them up here. It's kind of the worst place to be since I cannot escape. We were too stupid to jump down. Well, I found if you turn an enemy into a chicken, it will actually jump down from ledges more. And yeah, chickens in this game actually have some interesting mechanics, like they'll glide, which makes their maneuvering in the air a bit different. I think it also allows them to sort of jump further. And, ow, just got shot by that. Nice windage. I guess the windage was affecting me as well. Anyway, now to get the key. Back to 100 ammo already. See? This is how abundant the wand crystals are. And in the later levels, they just keep giving you crystal geodes, which are the big things. Hmm. Now, this room... Yeah. Always clear the corners when you're entering a room, because that's where you're most vulnerable. See? Fatal funnel, you go in the corner, you clear the corner. At least you check out the corner and shoot anything in, in the corner. 
thing is, once you're through it, you have to commit. Because getting back through it is a clusterfuck on its own. And fuck golems, which were hidden in the ceiling, like freaking ninjas. Nothing else here. And now, behold, the Crusher. What kind of crypt has this? I mean, I remember the dungeons were designed by a mad architect, but this is even madder. And you'll see why in a few minutes. Once I kill all of these fuckers. Yeah, I'm a very prudent sort of guy with this. I kill everyone through slits in the walls when I can. Because that's another tactical tip. Don't stand near windows. You can get shot through them. Or spotted through them. Which will result in getting shot through. That said, glass does provide some deflection to bullets, but it's not so good when they're coming straight on. It's more if it's an angled bullet. Alright. These guys. There are a lot of knights up there. Golems in here. And what do we have here? More knights. Ow! Nice shot. Yeah, see this. What the fuck kind of crypt has this big open pity area? This is a crypt, not a mine. You don't need an open pit. <laughs> I like open pit mines. They look awesome. They are huge and cinematic. And you could probably parkour down the bottom somehow. It could be a mix of parkour and, you know, traditional climbing techniques. But yeah, you could do it. And it will be badass. Collect some ammo. A few more goggles somewhere. There you are! What's up, guys? Again, just spamming the open wand. Because I can, basically. Climb faster, idiots. Nice stealth. Really, good effort. Now here, insidious traps. Because why not? Comes back up, and we walk across and find the secret area. Now we find this secret area with a ring of invincibility, which I'm pretty sure is useless on this level. I mean, there aren't that many clusterfuck fights, there's not much point in using it. So that's what you really need it for is clusterfuck fights and boss fights. Because the boss fights in this game are brutal, well some of them. Especially on the way to difficulties. Oh, I missed a freaking elevator. Oh well. I'll get him the other elevator. It's an elevator. Yeah, elevator music. Noob skulls. Uh, I can't make that jump. Fuck it, going up the elevator. Which is a bit of a clusterfuck since there are dudes up here. Perfect time for... CHICKENS! AFC motherfuckers. You know, think of how evil KFC could be if they had this power. Maybe that's who's behind all of this. KFC conspiracy, and they want the power of the morph ovums so they can harvest people for more chicken. And that explains a lot. Anyway, now we get to this area. Just 
which has a few dudes, but not all that many. Some gold fuckers, as usual. That opens up back to here. And now we clear out this area. And this area. Which we cleared out earlier. Except for this! Nice job as always. Really. Hehe. <laughs> and that actually shows us the location of another secret. As we go back to here... It's not open yet. Oh well. We'll get back to it later on. For now, I have to get the uh, key. If that opens it, we'll check. Okay, open one then. Oh, it is open now and kill these domes again. I think that's one of the things which annoys me in episode one is it's so repetitive. Like. You have only a few enemy types and only a few weapons. In the later episodes you have, I think, up to seven weapons. Whereas this one is not as many. You have crossbow, dragon claw, and the other ones. And of course the unlimited power glove. That doesn't count, because it sucks. Ah, finally, a crypty area. You know, graves and stuff. So that's what crypts are supposed to have. Right? 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 And these guys seem to have gotten out of theirs. It's time to rock out. Yeah, real good effort, guys. Fuckers in this tunnel seem to be. Yeah, that's one of the things in Terra Gargoyles everywhere. And now we're up here. And now it's time to go under the crusher and through this door. And there's a gargoyle again. So many freaking up. Let's shoot through here. Could actually wait for him to get crushed under this shit. And run. And we're good. Yeah, this is a bit of a clusterfuck area. It doesn't warrant invincibility quite yet. Especially since everyone is infighting. You are all idiots. All of you. Stop in fighting, learn to control your anger, or your anger will master you! Yeah, wisdom right there. Take the elevator down, find golds and coffins. Again, the only proof that this area is actually a crypt, because the architecture sucks. Fuck it, Elven Wand time. Also, they are in fighting. That golem was literally. What? Golem ass. It is disturbing. Okay, that's what I've discovered. Shoot the Jopa of the golem. And this teleports me back over here. Which is convenient, because you can't jump in this game by default. Uh, I think Doomsday Engine gives you the option to, but I don't do it, because that does sequence break sometimes. Alright, I think that's everything. Oh, now we have the map scroll, which is important. 
Oh, not really, because I think I got all the secrets anyway. Just fuck these guys up. Sup? Yeah, he hit me, but I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I'm full ammo on everything. And now I'm in. Now I have full health. Unlimited power! I take it back. The unlimited power go off does not suck all the time. <laughs> anyway, pause it. Go into map mode. Okay, it's good. Now time to end this level. 100%, 100%, 100%. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Reaper Lead Point Heretic. I'll see you next time. In Hell's Maw.